Merced City School District Summer Academy, the goal aligns with our district mission, which is to ensure students achieve and develop great character. As a part of that, one very important component is our first priority. Our priority is that students develop literacy in reading by the end of third grade and are also literate in mathematics by the end of sixth grade. Having more time to learn allows our students to be able to achieve that. The Summer Academy provided uh, students with the extended time to learn uh, during a time period that they typically wouldn't be. We had first graders working with robotics and we also had third graders working with robotics and having races and tug of wars and learning about force and motion. Uh, we had rocket launches with our third and kindergartners collaborating on that. We also had our second and fifth graders collaborate. To, uh, they were both studying uh, phases of matter and they collaborated to make liquid turn into a frozen ice cream. We actually recognize that in the next generation science standards they have a spiraling effect of topics particularly in the physical sciences. Since we were highlighting the physical sciences in our summer academy, it became actually a natural pairing. So we ended up with these buddy systems that the lower elementary standards were supporting what they were learning in grades three, four, and five. And so our three, four, and five were able to benefit by learning even more so they could teach it themselves. These are tuning forks and um, they make noises whenever you hit them because of the vibrations. I really love this. This is, I think this is my best summer school year yet. In Summer Academy this year, we had the privilege of being able to do a, an extensive enrichment program where students worked on literacy, both in mathematics and in the language arts. What we wanted for our students was for them to see themselves as scientists, mathematicians, or artists by the end of this five-week program. And I think we achieved that. Um, when we looked at the STEAM Fair at the very end, students were articulate, they had writing samples, they showed math and art and science modeling their thinking, and they really did an awesome job. And I know they're starting to connect this with future and possible careers, even at a very young age. A molecule is made up of different types of atoms, and when different types of atoms com are combined, they make certain things. So like, for example, pearl is made out of calcium, three oxygen, and one carbon. Well, what I notice about the students is they really started to think outside the box. And so they were able to look at the answers that they came up with, and then they were able to verbalize and articulate how they came up with that answer. They were able to gather evidence, and I think um, that really piqued their interest. Ready, set, go. It's been really good. It's exposed him more to like um, his logical side of thinking. I noticed that he tries to solve problems himself a little bit more. He has taken a little bit more interest in science and technology. He loves it. He's every morning, mom, mom, let's go to school. Through Destiny, students are able to find their resources. One of the resources that we wanted them to access during Summer Academy was the ebook. And so I was able to go into the classrooms and teach the students how to get onto Destiny Discover, which is the tool they use to get to the ebooks. It also, with the upgrade, connects to Google. So Google searches would also bring up what uh, resources we have in the library for them. Using Destiny Discover helps us get them into the 21st century and become college and career ready. Students have been very receptive and the languages, so many different languages by German and Russian and Swedish and Spanish and Portuguese and so forth. They are also working on doing Google Slides and presenting their culture and presenting the different foods, the traditions. It's a very fun program. It helps me so I can better understand my family when they're talking to each other in Spanish. We had a lot of progress. Students that started it from the beginning in the sixth grade and seventh grade levels, they actually worked in seventh grade and eighth grade material. They jumped from about 20% mastery at the beginning to 40 and 60% for the two different grade levels. So it was, I think for a month's work, it was a lot of growth. 
for the young people to come over and volunteer their summertime as freshmen and to interact with our children and to support them in their learning and just being there to help us to make sure that this program was successful. And then our children in our community to see what their opportunities are um, to go on to college and to go to a UC. And we're fortunate to have it right here in our backyard and to interact with them. The students uh, were 6th and 7th graders. They left at 8 in the morning and they had a, a great day experience and returned at 5. They had a morning session and an afternoon session so they got to experience the woods part and also the stream ecology. Um, so it was an integrated part of the curriculum that was allowed them to have hands-on experience. The Lift While You Lead program works with students who have overcome challenges and are seeking to bring about changes in their life. And so we work with them for a period of five years. We track their attendance, academics, discipline, and provide any support that they might need in order to make their academic successes a reality and pursue the goals that they have beyond high school. For three years, we have enrolled young women in the program, and this was our inaugural year of young men. So we're excited to see the program continue to expand and grow and reach more students in our community. In Summer Academy, we trained the teachers in two ways. First, we had a week of training so that we could go over the lessons and look at the pieces that we were using. Then, during Summer Academy, each day of the week, teachers were able to stay after for an extra hour. They didn't have just a regular professional learning community meeting where they might look at data. They had student work in front of them and they commented on student work and then made changes to their lessons. So in those PLC one hours after school each day they were able to conduct a little lesson study where they could see the impact of their lessons from the student work and then make the necessary changes to reach students. You know, I always tease my students that four brains are better than one. And sometimes we run into issues and problems that come up or even planning things and we get great ideas from each other and we build off of each other's strengths and we sort of support each other where they need support. And so through professional team building and collaboration, we're able to develop this camaraderie that we use to make it so all students achieve. Mr. Garza and I were able to work together and plan together and work with our teachers and our staff and planning to make sure that the program was successful. Teachers were very encouraged. It helped me grow as a teacher and I think that'll benefit my students in this year to come.